Yo, golf. Pretty good. I like it. Uh, he and I haven't talked about it. I can message him about that at some point. Do one at some point in the month of September. kind of been really focused on this. I'm just gonna wait that through. I've tried jumping over that spike post and I have a lot of trouble with that. Oh, let me through. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone for that. I almost certainly would have died. I'm very surprised I didn't. Okay, okay. A little further on the cycle than I thought I was, but we're okay. I have actually, maybe this will sound crazy, but I have actually started to learn some of the global cycle stuff. Um, let me through, that's fine. I don't need that mask. Yeah, I played this kind of a lot this weekend, and uh, I don't know, some things just started to click with me a little bit more. Not a ton, but more. Oh, okay. 
This is going to be a pretty bad boulders, not going to lie. Oh, I, okay. Sure. I mean, not terrible, but I'm probably losing like three or four seconds here. Uh, not even that many, maybe like two seconds. Maybe more, I'm also just not spinning a whole lot. Yeah, maybe close to three. Monday was alright. I was somewhat productive during work. Eliza and I hung out after work. Um, yeah, I had a couple of brats for dinner with some honeydew on the side. Hell yeah. That's good. Imagine doing your job. Have you heard anything about... I'm sure you would have told me. But anything about the, uh... The position you applied for? I'm sure they'll get to it when they get to it. I think that's much more likely than the alternative, them getting to it at some point when they don't get to it. I, I don't see that happening.
That could be fun. super ahead of the cycle I'm used to that threw me. <laughs> It's funny, I... the last couple of days, I got several runs really deep in, but I just have not had a single good island one. I came close to a new best island one several times, but then just choked it real bad. I'm just gonna wait. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is now the best island one I've had in the last three days. There would always be something where I would lose, like, I don't know, 20 seconds dying on some level. <laughs> I don't think I had an Island 1 under 1330 the whole weekend. Which, I mean, it's not a huge time loss. All things considered, it's not like it's a catastrophic Island 1. But it's just nice when things go well. Nice to have that extra time for later in the run when the game is actually hard. God, I started watching a tutorial that the world record holder Teb made. He just did like a, uh, he didn't do like a super polished tutorial, he just streamed for like eight hours and talked through everything in the game. <laughs> and I started watching it. Obviously I'm not gonna watch the whole thing at once because it's very long. Um, he spent, like, 40 minutes talking about just general movement at the start, and then spent, like, 40 minutes talking about the first level. And that's as far as I've watched. <laughs> I assume it's gonna get faster as he covers more stuff, but, uh... Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm excited to hear more from that. <laughs> there, there's a little bit of both. There is quite a bit of going into detail about the super fine movement of breaking some boxes in the first level. And part of the first level was also talking about setting up cycles for the whole game. Well, for the whole game. For the start of the run, basically.
Because you see, basically, the way this game works, there are two main types of cycles. There's local cycles that start as you spawn something in, as you approach it and see the thing. And then there's global cycles, which are running all the time. Except global cycles actually reset every time you die. So... Setting up cycles at the start of the game really only sets them up for until you die in, like, level 5 or whatever. The, uh, the big wall pegs. Actually, all the moving platforms in this level are local, or are global cycles. All of the bats are local cycles. I am dumb. There was a mask up there I was supposed to grab, and I didn't even try for it. Oh well, not a huge deal. So yeah, this cycle I'm used to- uh oh. Oh, crap. Well, now I'm behind a little bit. I would have caught the other half of this platform. And because I didn't catch the one I wanted, I'm going to be in a weird place for a cycle coming up. Yeah, when I said that I started recognizing cycles, it was this level was the main one I was thinking about. I'm actually really recognizing the cycles that I catch here now. Which I, I did not use to. Yeah, and then it's this wall is in a weird place for me. I can't go yet. Not yet. Oh, I could have. Oh, well. Yeah. So yeah, that was, what, like eight seconds I just lost waiting for that? Which, again, is not a whole lot, all things considered. But it's much nicer when I know what cycle I'm catching and don't have to worry about that. What did I say? Eight seconds lost. Hey, Muzz. I am a wizard. I'm dead. I'm a dead wizard. I shouldn't be trying to zigzag here. Not sideways, anyway. Forward and backward zigzagging isn't that bad because you can easily tell how far to the left or right you are, but sideways zigzagging is really hard in terms of going off the line. I did not want to hit the thing that way. That's fine, though. I uh, want to bounce? Yeah. I was out of spins. Fuck. Okay, well now I'm losing a bunch of time. Tomato anus. Yeah, I, I know that guy. He's made some really good videos. He's been on GDQ before, uh, under the name Tomato Angus. I mean, I don't know him, know him, but I'm familiar with the channel. Yeah, I don't remember which one I watched, but I did watch a video of his at one point and was blown away by how good it was. Are you serious? There we go. I couldn't have been out of spins. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, no, I just... I was not getting spinned timered. I just didn't spin for no reason. Cool. I love when that happens. Love when that happens and I lose like two minutes on a level.
We all love it. That's right. Heck. I guess not two minutes. Like a minute and a half, maybe. Depending on where the cycle is. Not even a minute and a half. Okay, I guess that's not that bad. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. How are you, Muzz? God, speaking of summoning salt, I need to watch his 16 star video still. Maybe I'll watch that after I stream if I'm not, if it's not too late. Just working. Working, working, working. Why can't I get that anymore? I've been failing that jump a lot too, and it's not very hard, and I don't know why. Thinking about reboot? I'm glad. I'm glad you are. That's how it starts, you know. You think about reboot some, and then you're like, hey, wait a minute, I haven't thought about anything else in a month. And then you're cold and on the street because you haven't been doing your job, because all you've been doing is thinking about Reboot. That's how it goes. That's how it went for me. Ooh, that was almost death. Till tomorrow, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm doing little zigzags around. I actually had a really frustrating death on that level the other day. Um, in one of the runs that I got really late. In one of the runs I finished, actually, because it that is right at the end. Uh, on the second path on that level. Or the second pass on that level, rather. Um, there's... The last boar you jump over is around a bunch of ice platforms, right? I... fell through the tiniest gap between platforms jumping past that boar. It was... I mean, the run was already dead anyway, but it was frustrating still. To, at the end of that level, need to play it again. Yeah, it, it's just, it sucks when that happens. Mosgrove. I might have been able to make that, but I died trying to make that exact jump the other day, and I don't want to do that again.
think you can do it, Maz. You know, I was thinking about it. I'm surprised I never got the early terror glitch in any ILs. I thought I had done it in the kits IL once I routed that in. But I mean, I checked. I know that I didn't. It just surprises me. I, I thought that I had at some point. That's late. Oh, it's not. Solid for runs without the early pair glitch. But you probably want it so bad you want it. Hell yeah. I believe in you, Muzz. Some of the Mario code execution stuff. Mario's. Mario's wild. <laughs> been thinking about this cycle, because this is consistent on dying in the death route. I think I could catch it a little bit sooner than I have been. very good when it's big. Hey, almost gold. Oh, Muzz, I'm so sad. Um... You know how it was such a big deal to me that I golded the Koala Kong split? I almost golded it again, and it would have been a gold by like four seconds. <laughs> I He threw it so early every time, except on the fourth hit, I got greedy and hit it a little, hit the rock a little earlier than I should have, and it hit a minecart instead of him. And I had to wait through another whole cycle. trying to practice spin bounces. Yep, here is normal Koala Kong RNG. <laughs> For me. Did everything right, four seconds off gold. There is 
so much variance in that level. Oop. Oh gosh. Oh my god. I'm not able to zigzag right now. I'm really struggling with it. I'll let you know once I get to that level in Tibbs' tutorial. <laughs> that would be really funny if the place I'm dying in the Sunset Vista... Okay, good. The Sunset Vista bonus is actually just giving me really bad koala Kong throws. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I'm pretty sure it's actually just RNG. Heck, go further down, crash. Okay. I've generally been better at jumping around those. Sad that didn't work. I think it should be good to just... Um, yeah. That's fine. I, I actually don't need triple mask here. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> I kind of didn't want that to happen, but I'm still basically okay. I'm not going to damage here like I usually do just because I want to keep the mask. Well, jeez, that, uh, that damage saves a lot more time than I realized. That, um, that platform just takes a lot longer to get going than I thought. Still, good level, good level. Actually might have been gold if I did take the damage. <laughs> Yeah, I think, um, I think learning the Lost City Cycles has actually helped quite a bit in mentality, just in that getting through Island 2 no longer feels like a huge accomplishment for me. It used to feel like, you know, oh, I'm on to Island 2, let's hope I can finish the run, which is silly, because, I mean... You get through the end of Island 2 still less than halfway through the run. I don't know, maybe it's just because I had been resetting so much on Island 1. But at this point, I feel just pretty confident in once I get to Island 2, I can probably get through Island 2. Not always, obviously, but usually. I think I would have had that if I kept going, I just quit early. There we go. What have I got? I'm gonna lose a bunch of time here, but at least I, well. Okay, I'm gonna lose a bunch of time here, but at least I got through it. I, I didn't want to speak too soon with that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I watched the first couple episodes of a fun show tonight that I have seen some of before, but I did not watch a whole lot when it was on. Uh, I watched the first couple episodes of Kim Possible. That is a pretty fun show. Yeah, I'm gonna play that really safe. I'm kind of sick of dying right after the first checkpoint on that uh, falling platform with the hammer drone. It's really easy to die on that, and I'm sick of it, so... I'm just gonna play that safer every single time. This whole level, this is a fun level to try to go fast in. I used to have a lot of fun trying to go fast in it, but uh, I'm not gonna play it a lot safer. Some things. There are some jumps that look scary, but I've been fine with. But some things that have been hurting me, I'm, I'm doing it safer now. I know, I know golf. How am I gonna... You gotta be kidding me. How am I gonna get into a CU record without, uh... Without playing it stupid fast and dying everywhere? I specifically decided not to damage abuse on that pipe, and then I just jumped too late and got hurt anyway. Also, if I do PB before I finish watching Teb's tutorial, do I want to keep watching that tutorial? <laughs> Maybe it would be better to just, uh... Just watch the rest of it when I eventually come back to the game. Yeah, I'll probably just not watch any more of it until I'm deciding to try to improve again. Yeah, I'm at about the point where getting through Pinstripe feels like I'm getting late in the run. Instead of before, where Lost City felt late in the run. <laughs> Gotta remember to not skip this cutscene. The game starts lagging out a lot if you skip that and have the whole screen visible while Pinstripe goes through that shooting animation, so... It's better to just let it stay zoomed in on him at the start. I always liked Pinstripe. Not this fight necessarily, because I didn't play Crash 1 much as a kid, but just the character Pinstripe. I thought it was fun to have, like, a shitty mob boss character <laughs> in this game. Uh, no. There are some spots on the ground that are just safe spots in that level. And when you're standing on them, Crash just ducks. Oh, I should I should stop doing that. That's a stupid, dangerous optimization to try making. Zigzagging and landing on platforms you can't see.
Okay, so it's turtles 3 and 5 I want to stop and bounce on. And then, I don't know the number, but the one after some metal crates later. And the rest I can either spin away or jump on as I see them. Okay, so yeah, it's this next one. <sighs> I almost went too far on one of those. I guess my death was fast. I was expecting to lose a lot more time on this than I will. Yeah, tiny pinstripe gold. Yeah, I guess five seconds is about right. Okay, now the cycles here will likely be weird because of my uh, high road death, and all of the cycles in this level I'm pretty sure are global, so yeah, these will pretty much entirely be cycles where I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I should really just start dying at the start of this level to give myself cycles I know. Not a chance. It's really easy on those stairs that I slipped on to just accidentally walk off that entire staircase and fall really far down. I know that because I had a sick ass save when that happened to me the other day. I'm not catching that. Well, I might have been able to catch that. I didn't, though. So. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. There we go. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts. Yes, it's a good sound. <laughs> I really like the all the sound design in this game. God, what was the line Dwight did in the office at one point? It was like, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, then every day would be shrink a frink a fist. Thank goodness, that wall caught me. Ooh, okay, okay. 
Lights Out was a level that I lost like three minutes on in a run recently. On the, the backtrack to it. It would be impressive for me at this point to lose three minutes on the first pass. But I just kept dying late in the level. Dang it, I could, if I was just a little bit faster, catch both of these platform cycles. I really need to get better at that. Jaws of Darkness. also a cycle I expect now. That's not right. I haven't... Oh no, yeah, I die in Lights Out, of course. Of course I expect that cycle. Sorry, I was thinking, like, no, my last death was in High Road. Why am I catching consistent cycles here? But, no, that, that does make sense. <laughs> okay. We're just going way out here. <laughs> I was a little slow on that. this movement incredibly safe. I'm not going to risk anything. Oh, except for the Cortex token up ahead here. I'm definitely going to risk this. Because I don't really know a better way to do it. If anybody has a better idea. That worked. We're fine. I think the issue there is when I hold right. When I hold right... Then I break the TNT and frequently get lock launched off the edge. <laughs> Should I do a sub jump right now? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. That would be so bad. I almost didn't make the jump to that platform. I jumped super early on the, uh, the flame for no reason. Oh, good level. Good level. Close to gold, I think. Might have been gold if I did the sub jump, I'm just saying. <laughs> this is another level that I've just started playing much safer. In some ways. In other ways, I'm still playing. Like, I'm doing that jump. That's not something I used to do. I used to wait through those, but... 
you know, you just... I guess, really, I, I keep thinking about, like, a month ago, when I was thinking, like, oh, I'm just gonna super rush everything, and whatever happens, happens, man. And I think I'm not doing that anymore, obviously, but I think I did get some good stuff out of that. I learned in a lot of places what jumps I can be doing that are much faster, and which ones are consistent, and which ones will just probably get me killed. And there are a number of things that I know I could be doing that would be faster, and I'm not doing because I don't want to die. I... that was unfortunate. I'm taking damage right there too. Heck. Do we want to be famous? Nah. I'm good. Fame is for the birds. Yeah, I kind of actually really would have liked to not lose all of my masks there. But we're okay. I just need to not take damage, like, right here. Yeah, and then there are a couple of other spots I need to not take damage. Uh, this one, and this one, <laughs> there we go. And hopefully I didn't just miss a cycle because of that. Now I probably would've caught this cycle anyway. I'm gonna wait, because I'm a coward who likes finishing runs. Ah, coward. God, getting to Brio on the first run of the night, imagine. That too much. You did mention that, yes. <gasps> Brio tied gold! Let's go. What a gamer. Through casual playthrough. Nice, nice. I'm feeling weird about my movement in this level. Not. I don't know, just like my zigzagging feels off. I, I can't quite put my finger on why. early spin, I think. Oh, no! Oh. I panicked so hard. Oh, 
Dolph, you don't mean Bubble Bobble, do you? That's a relatively famous game. I shouldn't have done it then. Oh well. I don't know, there are also a lot of games with bubble in the title, it could be anything. Uh, yeah, that's a bunch of time loss. I know, Eliza, I'm a liar. I'm a filthy, filthy liar, and I don't know why you're friends with me. On the good news, this is the first run of the night. <laughs> And before this level, it was going pretty well. And I mean realistically, th this isn't that much time loss. Hey, hang now. Oh, I don't know, Eliza, maybe. I'm a very toxic presence, as you know. It's going okay, Hangman. I... I've calmed down a bit in my approach to this game, and I've been getting much further in runs, so, uh... If I said no, please, I'm joking. Please stay. But anyway, yeah, getting getting further in runs has been nice. Oh heck. Shouldn't have broken that. Not yet. I gave myself a hard deadline for this game. I decided that if I haven't PB'd by mid September, I'm just gonna give up and move on. Cause I I had fun playing this game, but I don't want to play this forever. <laughs> and after I decided that, uh, I don't know, things have just been going better a little bit. Shouldn't have gone. Yeah, that's really bad. I, yeah, I can't see anything. Sometimes I can go through the darkness and catch another mask, but uh, that... God, taking damage right after you get a mask is really hard. Oh, God damn it. It's fine, Buzz. I've accepted that no run that I do has any real chance of... Heck. Heck! I've accepted that no run that I do has any real chance of being PB. Everyone's gonna die somewhere. Let's go just a little bit faster than I have been. There. Yeah, there we go. If you die at the start of this level, that cycle is not very hard to catch. I don't know, Eliza, but I'm not sure that you'd stay mod for very long after that. You know, all things considered, I'm surprised I got as far into that darkness as I did <laughs> the other time. Ah, uh, I'd consider it. Boing. Wait. Wait. Oh my god.
There we go. We're okay. <laughs> Eliza, if you really want to take back all of the no swearings, I guess I can't make you. Or I guess I can't stop you. You know what I mean. just hope you know the ramifications of that. I'm gonna start swearing like a sailor. I should have gone. I should have gone. I would have been fine. That's true, you don't want me to get too full of myself. Okay, so I know we are on the backtrack proper. We have six levels left. But I just want to remind everyone I will probably throw the run in one of these levels. I would be really surprised if I didn't. We basically need to play Deathless for the rest of the run, so... Haha, -ha, good luck with that. in this level the other day, but it was a different box than the normal one to, one to run through. I was sad about that. some massive gold? Oh. Huh. I guess I haven't done that level well since I moved my splits around. I guess that makes sense. I haven't gotten here very often since I've done that. And I have usually messed it up. So, I, I believe that. Well, that's nice. That gives us a little more leeway. guarantees. Nobody get attached to the run. It's not allowed. <laughs> Time for Papu Papu too. Hell yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, the big levels that I'm worried about, that I might choke away a lot of time in, are Native Fortress 2, uh, Road to Nowhere 2, uh, Boulder Dash 2, yeah, and Rolling Stones 2. So, four out of the five next levels. <laughs> Basically. Oh, Muzz, did you? Actually, because that, that's a good question. Okay, we're not going to enter Papu Papu. I know better. I know better. Maybe you should make it a community gold golf. I know you you mentioned that idea. <laughs> you got it, Muzz. Legend has it. If we redeem both of them at the same time, golf will end up also doing a mimetic run. So the scripture says. Now, Native Fortress 2 is a scary level, because I really suck at it. You've heard that legend. This was the level where the other day I was on low 117 pace and I died here like four times and then gave up. So I'm just, just gonna play cool, daddy-o. People still say daddy-o, right? Uh oh. Oh, come on! I had nowhere to go. Okay, well, that's 120 dead. <sighs> we can still PB. You know what, Muzz? <laughs> I get scared of doing that because of the number of times tanking a TNT has just pushed me off a cliff. And I feel like I'm pretty justified in that fear. Wait. 
wait. Uh, yes, that, that was the other option. I could have gone for it. I know how to sub-jump. I've done it before. I mean, the other other option was I stay standing on the metal crate and jump when the TNT explodes. I'm pretty sure that keeps you safe. I just didn't in the moment. That, yeah, that was... should not have tried that jump. Uh, one of the times I died was up here, though, so... Haha, -ha, get ready for that again. I just didn't make one of these jumps between the clouds. But we're good. Why would I do this? Why would I do that? not necessary at this point in my life. Okay. Let's go ahead and move to PB comparison for the rest of the run. The best chance I have is just not dying. What have we got? I'm pretty sure you know that. Okay. That's why I have the two masks. That's why I have both of them. Oops. Okay, good right about to take damage on that boar too. Would have been mighty silly. That's why I have both masks. That's why I have both masks. Okay. That's unfortunate. But we're fine. We're fine. We're not dead. I could die here. I have before, many times. Uh, we just need to not do that, though. Why am I doing scary spins like that? I shouldn't be doing that. Not right now. I'd like to finish this run. <laughs> yeah, it was this jump I died on. I just barely didn't make it in a recent run. Fell between the two ice slopes.
One thing I've noticed that I'm kind of excited about, um, I've mentioned this before, the difference between when you're learning a speedrun, the difference between playing reactively versus knowing what's going to happen and, you know, doing the movement that you know is going to be optimal versus still being new to a speedrun and just kind of dealing with whatever comes. I'm not really playing this game reactively anymore, which is really nice. I, I know basically everything that's going to come at every point. <laughs> I still suck at it, and this game is really hard, but, uh, still, it's, it's nice. It's a nice feeling. There we go. It is. It, yeah, that one's really cool. That. I didn't even die in the level twice. Yeah, Muzz, it's an enormous PB. <laughs> like 30 whole seconds. Maybe. If I tie my gold on Great Hall, it'll be a 30 second PB. But sadly, PB is not what I was after. Sub 120 is what I'm after. Oh, I'm comparing to PB right now, so that was like a two-second gold, <laughs> to be clear. Yes, yeah, it, yeah, I, I messed that level up real bad in PB. I mean, it has been a while. Hey, Pepsi. It has been a while since I've PB'd, so... I suppose I am... I should just be happy for that. Yeah, it's been about a month since my last PB. A uh, month and four days. There we go. July 19th was my last PB. First sub 121. Let's go. Again, I'm really happy with my new mentality, though. I, I really think just slowing down a little bit is helping a lot. I don't think I'm gonna get, like, a 114 if I play like this, but a 115 and above, uh, I, I, I believe in it. No, not time for a second run. My hands cannot take a second run. Also, the time on the clock cannot take a second run. It's getting too late. I think I'm actually just gonna end stream after the credits end. Watch that new Summoning Salt video. I don't know, maybe eat some Sour Patch Kids or something. Have fun with that golf. That sounded funny. Yes, naturally, naturally. 
Uh, I'm gonna raid Rico. I'm just waiting because I don't really remember how long the credits are. I keep forgetting Mark Mothersbaugh did uh, music in this. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be it. So we're raiding Rico, who is doing Crash 2 right now. Yeah. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.